Hello there. I'm not very charismatic or anything. I'm not like some of these YouTubers that are able to, you know, look like they're a child that just saw a rainbow and have all these, you know, emotional reactions. But, um, there's this guy. <laughs> oh, man. What's his name? Devin Gibson. Devin Gibson puts on videos, and I'm just tired of it. He keeps saying, oh, put your comments below. We can have a civilized uh, debate. Yeah, he never responds. I make good points and he never responds. So I figured I'd make a video of a reaction of a typical video he puts out. Alright, because I, this is just amazing how like so many people follow this guy. How many subscribers does he have? 462,000 subscribers. <laughs> and he's spreading this crazy stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, he put out a video called Black Lady Confronts White Liberals on Their Hypocrisy. And uh, I want to just go over what he has to say as far as uh, what that's all about. Okay, so here we go. All right, y'all. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're tuning in. I'm grateful to have you here. We got some liberal action back in the building today, supposedly getting caught up in their hypocrisy again. So it should be a fun time. All right. So obviously he's anti-liberal. I mean, there are crazy liberals out there that go way to the extreme. I get it. But um, to put all the liberals in one basket. And then he's talking about hypocrisy. We'll get into that. Um, let's get it popping. My point was that black kids in Chicago get killed every single day. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Where are they? When black people kill black people, they don't come out and do this crap. The only time they do this crap is when a white person touches. Yeah, the racist. Yeah, the racist. I'm gonna do, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do reactions like he does. Cops, it's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person. That's for sure. But if it matters, it should matter at all times. So what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You're not here to fight injustice. I got to bring it back. This this is a reaction. This is a, a commentary. Okay, here we go. Now, it is wrong for a white cop to kill a black person, just like it's wrong for anybody to kill. Thou shall not kill. It's sin across the board. All right. <laughs> Thou shall not kill. It's sin across the board, he says. First of all, what is sin? What is sin? Because the Bible doesn't think slavery is sin or rape is sin but eating shellfish thinking about someone with lust now that's a sin worshiping another god but rape and slavery no problem nowhere in the bible does it say thou shall not uh own another human being as property or thou shall not rape unbelievable sin what a stupid concept. All right, let's go on. Same consistency, the same standard at all times. Black on black crime that goes on in Chicago very, very often, but n nobody talks about that on the news cycle. They only want to portray what, what one narrative is, and they don't want to portray the whole story, which is messed up. That's what she's saying. I love it. Be consistent. All right, he, he makes a point there. I kind of agree with him. All lives matter, not just black lives matter. But when people go out and say blue lives matter, <laughs> that's just as bad, if not worse. That's just belittling that black lives matter. All lives matter. Cops, black people, whatever. You don't counter black lives matter with blue lives matter. So, I agree, all lives matter. Moving on. They are the racist because white, people, white cops, it's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person, that's for sure. We agree. But if it matters, it should matter at all times. So what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You are not here to fight injustice. You're here to cause drama. message will be stop violence. It's not about blacks. In a unicorn world. That's not a unicorn world. Okay, since you're so... You get it, so you're blacks are oppressed. I am black, I'm not oppressed. I am free. That's good for you. That's an individual person. What about a systemic issue? Where? I am black. I've always wanted to be. I have a like. I do what I want. You have the skills. This is a country where you have the skills. You want to do what you want. You do it. Stop. Stop forcing on people to accept that they're oppressed. They are not. I am not oppressed. 
I am black. Yeah, Stop making people actually that America, they are oppressed. You're forcing a rhetoric into your mind, which is not true. I'm an American, baby. I'm an American. Yeah, you got a freaking American cro uh, flag on your cross. Where's the separation of church and state? Oh, uh, we're a Christian nation. No, we're not. Everybody's allowed their religion. Jews, Muslims, atheists, everybody's allowed to believe what they want. Get that damn flag off your cross. If you believe in America, if you're American, then you have to respect everybody, not just Christians. Pfft. Act like Christians are the only uh, religion in America. Like you own it. Your mind, which is not true. That's my point. Okay. Violence is wrong, period. It's not about blacks. Of course. You agree that whites kill black whites too, right? Of Have you seen any white person coming out and saying white life matter or white thing? No, they violence do. is wrong. They literally do all the time. Every time there's a black violence, lives matter a protest, problem. a white it's not person. It's a problem. It's a violence problem. The blacks kill blacks in black neighborhoods every single day. I have never seen a black life matter in those neighborhoods. Never. Never. You know what they say? When the black person kill a black. She did. Oh, I had to pause, y'all. I'll bring it back. But she said, you aren't looking hard enough. Now, how much of a horrible, sick human being do you have to be to tell somebody that. Th <laughs> Talk about hypocrisy. He just got upset because the liberals said, you aren't looking hard enough. Now, how many times have I heard a Christian tell me. Well, you know, you don't see God because you're not looking hard enough. And yeah, look what this guy says. How much of go a back. horrible, sick human being do you have to be to tell somebody that... The, what? Huh? We got Karen. Karen right here. What, how horrible do you have to be? How horrible do you have to be? You got Karen. He calls her Karen. How nice. To belittle her. He's calling her Karen. Very belittling. Yeah, so how how horrible do you have to be to tell somebody you aren't looking hard enough? <laughs> the hypocrisy. If you're a liberal, you're a horrible person when you say that. But when you're a Christian, oh, that's fine. You're just spreading the gospel, right? Hypocrisy? Yeah. Unbelievable. Just, just going wild, getting angry because she can't make this other lady feel oppressed. Because the other lady is a black woman in America that says she can't make this other lady feel oppressed. What do you think Christians do? They try to make atheists feel oppressed, right? They, they try to belittle atheists. Oh, you don't see God because you're not looking hard enough. Same exact thing. Same exact thing, and. <laughs> You want to talk about hypocrisy. You ever watch your own videos? Devin? You ever watch your own videos? Do you ever see what you say? I don't even think you realize it. All right, moving on. I'm not oppressed. I don't feel oppressed at all. I'm free. Home of the free because of the brave. Anything that I want, anything that I that I want to attain, I can put in the extra effort to go get it. And if I don't want it, then I won't put in that extra effort. It's really that simple. You Oh, everybody's equal in America, right? Yeah. While well, atheists are getting put down by these Christians constantly. Oh, you're a devil worshiper. Oh, you eat babies. You don't have any morals. You're you're not a god believer. <sighs> Talk about oppression. You know, in, in uh, I forgot how many st states it is, but there's like over 10 states that have it in their constitution that says atheists can't hold public office. And obviously that doesn't count because the federal law goes again, uh, above that. But why is it still in their constitutions? Why does it even say it in there? They could take it out. They refuse to. Because they really believe that. They really believe atheists shouldn't be in public office. Disgusting. All right, moving on. You have that right in America to do the things that you want to do within the realms of the law. You have that right in America to do what you want. Except be an atheist. Because 
you know, you're not a real American unless you're a Christian. That's why you got that uh, flag on your cross, right? They go hand in hand. They're both together, right? You can't be an American without being a Christian. Screw you. We agree that violence, murder, any of that sort of stuff, that means babies too. Just got to get my insert in. Oh boy. Now he talked about babies. He acts like a fetus is a baby. You know, talk about hypocrisy. <laughs> the people who are against abortion, all they care about is having a baby being born. Once it's born, they don't give a crap. Well, let it starve. Who's going to pay for the food? Yeah, but you're the one that wanted the baby to, baby to be born. Maybe you should pay for it. Think about it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the, let, let me go off on abortion real quick, because this guy is like so pro-life, pro so he says. <laughs> he's not pro-life, he's pro-birth. He doesn't care about what happens to babies after they're born. Unbelievable. And then, this is, this is what kills me, because he claims that at conception, it's a human being, because of the DNA. So there's thousands of frozen embryos that get thrown out every day. They're supposedly human beings, according to his definition. Does he do anything to stop that? From, stop them from being thrown out? And since he has actually no regard for a woman's body, doesn't care that the woman has her own body and has the right to her own body. I mean, what's he going to do to save these frozen embryos? Strap all the women down and implant them with uh, frozen embryos so you can save the babies? Because they're babies, right? Frozen embryos are babies. They're Dick, their uh, sperm and egg put together. So you can force women to be human incubators. That's what you think. Screw the woman and her body. It's the baby that counts. The so-called baby. A couple of cells that don't have a heartbeat or a brainwave or anything. <laughs> oh, this guy is so messed up. See, the problem is he... he works on emotion. That's what that's what these people do. Conservatives are just emotional. Oh, you can't kill beautiful babies. Oh, so beautiful you can't kill them. Give me a break. Everything they say is emotional. They don't think about anything. They have no critical thinking skills. And then they have this emotional, like, you see this grin guy he puts on and everything? Oh, you know, shake Bob's head, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got all full of emotion. He doesn't think. He doesn't think. And then he he has the nerve to say, "Oh, let's have a a discussion and let's let's think critically." Yeah, okay. Anyway, but don't try to tell me as a black woman when you're white that I'm oppressed. We got some things twisted. Well, these people got things twisted. These extreme far leftists, these liberals. We're going to talk about it at the end, but my goodness, this is beautiful. Why isn't this showing on the media? This lady does not feel like a victim at all. That victim mentality that the news media likes to portray all the time, she's not buying it. She, she knows what she's got in America, and that's freedom to do as she pleases or whatever she doesn't choose to do. It is, talk about victim mentality. That's what Christians do. Oh, you can't get rid of Merry Christmas. How dare you say Happy Holidays and include everybody? Oh, we're the victims. You're, you're. There's a war on Christ. There's a war on Christians. There's a war on Christmas. Oh my God, <laughs> victim mentality. The hypocrisy once again. You're talking about hypocrisy. Victim mentality. That's what Christians do constantly. They won't let us teach the Bible in school. We're being oppressed. We're the victims. Throw not up. buying it. She, she knows what she's got in America, and that's freedom to do as she pleases or whatever she doesn't choose to do. It, it's who I love America. God bless this country. God bless this country. <laughs> Let me let's go over that little phrase. God bless America, huh? 
Yeah, so there's this almighty creator of the entire universe. And he only cares about a little country that people created by drawing lines in the sand. So this almighty God is going to bless whatever the f*** that is. What's a bless? Like showing favoritism. Oh, my mighty God is going to show favoritism for a country. Forget the entire world. Just America. Are you kidding me? God bless America. And what the hell is a bless? Why doesn't God bless children with cancer? Or starving children? Innocent children have to suffer because they're not blessed. Oh, but bless America. Right? I'm. He even says, I'm blessed. That's all he says. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Who are you? What makes you so special? <laughs> I love these people. Self-righteous. I'm blessed. Anyway... That word bless just triggers me. It's just wrong. Snitches get stitches. But if a white person kill a black person, black lives matter. Stop the hypocrisy. Nobody takes this seriously. Mm. Nobody. If it matters, it should matter in black neighborhoods. You start Across cleaning at home. So why don't you go? You why start don't you start? cleaning at home. Why don't you start? I'm not carrying anything why saying black lives matter. I know I matter. Across the board. You guys are wasting everybody's time. Okay? Black you so black more than any race. Where's the black life matter? Where's the black life matter? This guy's reactions are just so freaking corny. Black lives matter when it's a white person that does the the offense. When a white person, cop, whatever the person may be, when it's white on black, it, it's horrible. When it's black on black, oh, it, it, it's just another day. It, it's typical. But black lives don't matter then. Wow. Wow. This is spot on golden. It's sad. All right, we agree. All lives matter. All right? But it's what you're spreading is what bothers me. Your hypocrisy. As you go against what this liberals people are saying, you're calling them hypocritical, and then you turn around and are worse with your hypocrisy. It's sad. Very, very disturbing, but spot on now one thing i noticed about this video and and leftists all the time is when the facts come out when people dish out reality what's really going on in the everyday walks of life no matter where you're at what color skin tone you are when the facts come out and they're portrayed to you they run they're quick to get up out of there but on top of that yeah talk about facts science with backed by evidence when i confront christians and and show them the evidence for evolution and the Big Bang, they run away. <laughs> yeah, facts. Amazing. Hypocrisy, once again. On top of that, what I really want to know is, where do people find all this time to protest, rock these masks out in the streets, and, and, and just... And where do people find all this time to go preaching... And spreading the gospels, knocking on doors, standing at railroad stations, and holding up Bibles, and trying to get people converted. Where do people find the time for that? Hypocrisy, once again. Spend all this wasted time that they could be utilizing to make a difference, to actually, you know. Yep, wasted time where they could be making a difference, studying science and furthering science. No, they're wasting time reading out of an old book that was written by goat herders. Not God, goat herders. Go out and work and put a little extra effort in to spread love and peace and spread the gospel in the world. Spread the Where gospel. Time? Don't spread the God's gospel. Like, what's, that's not what's a waste really of time. Going on? Spread the gospel. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, this guy... He, the hypocrisy is just dripping with it. Everything it said comes out of his mouth. Hypocrisy. And he's complaining about liberals being hypocritical. Wow. Don't they got jobs? Like, what's what's really going on? Can we talk about that in the comment section? It really doesn't get more yeah, we ridiculous can talk about than that. this right here. Than this video when a white person is telling a black person how they're supposed to feel. How they're supposed to feel oppressed. They're not looking hard enough. Oh, a white person's telling a black, people, black person how to feel. But when a Christian tells an atheist how to feel, that's okay. Right? 
Hypocrisy. They're not looking hard enough, whatever it may be. How are you going to tell somebody that? God, please save America. Save this country because people... Th God, please save America. Here we go with that shit again. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know something? When you show me... I'm open-minded. When you show me evidence for God... You don't have any. Really got things twisted. And Malcolm X said it best, rest in peace. White liberals are wolves in sheep's clothing. Leftists, liberals, whatever you want to label them as, they're wolves in sheep's clothing. They're portraying that they really care. They're really out to, you know, help you and... and, and wolves in sheep's clothing. They really care about babies, don't they? Those Christians. Except when they're born, then it's like, oh, well, who's going to pay for it? Health care for babies? Who's going to pay for it? Food for babies? Who's going to pay for it? That's their big freaking thing. Money is more important than people. Save the babies before they're born. But after they're born, pff, let them suffer. Let them die. Who cares? Hypocrisy. Help you and, and enhance society in a more positive direction, but that's not the case. They're out there to tear you apart. And enhance society. You know, then why are conservatives so against universal health care, uh, universal basic income, you know, things that make people live better, <laughs> make the world a better place, as you say? You're so against that, aren't you? Oh, because money's more important. Amazing there to tear you apart and push this false agenda and rhetoric every single day false agenda. and it's sickening and i could keep beating this sickening. topic upside the head but i'm sure y'all are just as disgusted by it especially over the past few years where specifically in 2020 we let the whole country get burned down practically innocent businesses black and white owned it, all different walks of life their life was completely oh that's illegal to burn down businesses i agree it's also illegal to storm the Capitol building and try to stop an, a legitimate election. Hypocrisy. You don't mention that, right? Walks of life, their life was completely flipped upside down for the worst case for a crackhead. Now, I understand that the, the, the cop was, was wrong in that situation, but what's going on right now is, is, is dumb. It's stupidity. And, and now you're putting down crackheads. People who are addicted to drugs. Yeah, let's just throw them in jail and beat the hell out of him with the cops, right? Instead of giving them help, Mr. Jesus man. What would Jesus do? Huh? <laughs> would he try to help a crackhead or would he put him down like you do? Pardon my straightforwardness, but this is what happens when you don't have a plan. And by that, I mean you don't follow Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, the life. And these people, I can almost guarantee these... Sl follow Jesus Christ. Have you read the Bible? I like to point out that the Bible condones things like slavery. And yeah, even the New Testament says, slaves obey your masters, even the mean ones. So Jesus was for slavery. Jesus never said, slaves run away from your masters, or help free the slaves, or anything like that. No, he says, slaves obey, slaves obey your masters, even the mean ones. Oh. The good book. Guarantee these slick-talking leftists and liberals, they don't do it at all. They don't. You're the slick-talking conservative. That's okay, though, right? Hypocrisy again. When you slick-talk, it's okay. But when liberals slick-talk, oh, point, you know, point it out. Jeez. Follow the gospel. They don't follow the Bible basic instructions before leaving earth. They don't follow the gospel. What are the Ten Commandments? What are the Ten Commandments? Like the first three is like, don't don't worship another god. Instead of putting in there, you know, don't rape, don't own another human being as property. I mean, we all can agree that's wrong. Why isn't that in the Ten Commandments? No, you got to waste three commandments on not worshiping another God. Follow the gospel. Oh, unbelievable. 
um, which absolutely makes no no sense to me whatsoever. Like, why why wouldn't you want to follow Jesus? Why wouldn't you want to follow a path that's already been... Makes no sense to you why someone would not want to follow Jesus? Maybe because we're not gullible sycophants. We don't just fall for stories in a book. Set in place for you. Let, let's, let's see here. We get forgiveness for your sin. Check. We get eternal life. Check. Sounds like a, a pretty... Forgiveness for your sins? What is a sin? We went over that. <laughs> Eternal life? Where's your evidence for that? That's just a story in a book you believe. Not check. You're being gullible if you believe something like that. You have no evidence for it. You want to believe it. You just want to believe what you want to believe. You don't care about what the truth is. Talk about truth. Check. Check. No, it's not check. In your mind, it's check. You don't care about real reality. <laughs> Again, it's, you, you believe it on emotion. Oh, the gospel's so good. Oh, oh. Check. Eternal life, check. Yeah. Prove it smart direction and way to me i'm just saying you may disagree let me know why down below but yeah you're just saying well don't just say lies don't just say things you can't prove don't just say agree let me know why down below but i'm letting you know i let you know in the comments you never respond i sent you emails you never respond And just to add a little biblical soul food that I found I like to, to tend to do on this platform, uh, I discovered a verse I never really paid attention to in depth before. Oh, here we go. For a video like this. Here we go. Let's read a 10, verse. Verse 2 out of the ESV English Standard Version. That's one of the versions that I love to read. Uh, you may prefer the, the King James, the New King James, the NL, whatever it may be. I'm reading out of the ESV. But Ecclesiastes 10 verse 2 says, A wise man's heart inclines him to the right, but a fool's heart to the left. That says so right here in the good book. Oh, it says so in the good book. So that must make it true. And calling people fools? Resorting to name calling? Oh, well, you know, if you don't believe what I do, you're a fool. You're, see, if you believe what I believe, you're a wise man. Otherwise, you're a fool. It says so in the good book. The good book that condones rape and slavery. That's all you got is calling people names? You're full. It says a wise man, wise, his, his heart inclines him to the right, but a fool's heart to the left. Well, I don't use my heart for truth. I use my brain. Try it sometime. Again, it's all emotional. It, it, it says it right there. I, I, hey. I don't think it could be any more right blunt there. And to the point than that verse right it. there. There's other holy books that say things. There's comic books that say things. There's Harry Potter that says things. It says it right there. Where's your evidence to back it up? It's just a book. More blunt and to the point than that verse right there. But as always, this is always up for discussion. That verse right there. I love that little fucking head gesture. Right there. I mean, come on. It's got to be true. Come on. I just proved it by saying it. I'm just saying. That proves it. As always, this is always up for discussion. Let's have a conversation down below. Let's keep this thing rolling. We can disagree. All yeah, we can disagree and still be civil by calling people fools. That's civil, right? Calling, calling people, you know, saying they're hypocritical when you that's all you are there's no reasoning with people like you you know that there's no reasoning you everything you believe is not due to reason it's due to emotion so why can I I can't reason with you you don't care about reason you care about emotion Oh, let's keep this thing rolling. We could disagree all day long and still be civil, still respect each other's differing views. Respect each other's views. No. If you're wrong, I don't respect it. I'm allowed to question it. You don't just go around respecting people because they have a different view. You're allowed to question it. 
You're allowed to disagree, yes, and you're allowed to look at it critically and not respect it. Where's this stupid thing come from? Well, you got to respect other people's beliefs. No, you don't. Not if it's ridiculous. If I believe 2 plus 2 equals 5, I don't expect to have respect for that. I should sure hope no one respects that. And I sure hope someone would question it and point it out and come to me and say, no, 2 plus 2 does not equal 5. Just because I have a belief doesn't make it true, doesn't mean it should be respected. Okay? Nonsense. We all look different, but we all bleed the same color. So the only way to grow in society is to talk about things, progress, and not bash, belittle, just because some... Don't bash and belittle, but read things out of a book that bash and belittle, right? Call them fools. What a... Oh, you're disgusting. You and your videos, they make me sick. Just shame on you. Shame on you for doing that. Seriously. You got that perfect haircut and the beard and your, your, your American flag cross and your, your mannerisms and mm-hmm, yeah. <sighs> I tell you, you call people hypocritical you're the worst one. I'm done. Take care.